previous ramifications are already being felt. The AWP of Swan passive over towards the CT Arch. Now, that uh, smoke that came out from Pluto, they had a gap on the left-hand side. Now, they had to disrespect it anyway because the Uta was a bit light, but it's going to give you at least one avenue to peer on through as they pushed on in. The TK from Lucan onto Max is the only kill that went against 9Z in this round of play. And I'm uh, well, not going to get anything done. Lucan with one more on the way out the door. Someone has to fill into those shoes. So hopefully they've learned enough. Bringing out in his Momo into the fight wow. versus Rox. He does get the headshot, but treaded out by looking while blinded. Yes, yeah, so this banana control is not granted just yet. Pluto is still aggressive with Swan here. Holding a bit more of a slither gap. Pluto anti-flash. Looking Bomb will be planted behind the fountain. Need to get down before the smoke starts to fade. Max punching the digits. Momo trying to pester is coming through. His spongy found by Lucan. And that should now be the round. The nade. Ooh, he's gone to Lucan for another pick around the corner. Momo. The P250 could drop the AK, but Lucan is dealing with that. And uh, the shoot prevails. A couple of kills for Bad News Bears, but 9Z take the lead. And now we look to the buy for Bad News Bears. They have got some money available. When is Able. the good news? Some fights. Rocks to cover CT and the bomb scooped up now. Contact on towards this B bomb site. We'll give them a two on three fight advantage for 9Z. This double setup should be good. Towards the back, but sorry, we got Momo, Pluto alongside of him. It's gonna be the Wombo combo locking down the site. Pluto comes through with a vast majority of work and Momo spots out. Max will close it out. Good round there from Bad News Bears, keeping it close up, but uh, the fire making things a little uncomfortable. Momo has gone into first oranges, and yeah, this position, that's going to be easy. Max toppled, but now, well, Momo's stuck, having to get out of there, well and somehow played. he's going to do it. Beautiful stuff, maneuvering around those smokes, and now it's just strung out. David and DGT are opposite ends of the map here in Swan. Well, we asked to stop looking at you. He is just looking down mid. You can't get past him without a trick. David trying to draw something on the B-bomb site. Drops out of CT smoke and... Momo. DGT. Cool. David will find Momo. Now oh, David and DGT are certainly in with a winnable chance. Shakes all are looking. Oh yes, he's got this man through the smoke. He's taken him down and now DGT thrust into the clutch. Oh, 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 but he swings and he's able to get it down to the 1v1. It's so close. 10 HP the difference. And Spongy keeps bad news. Oh, Spongy, this is aggressive. Up in towards the apartment store. Peek down into second middle. Claims the life of David early. They have been aggressive, haven't they? Quite a jarring force. And if they do this, it's going to mean that 9Z won't be able to go for so many set pieces. Yeah. So if you can stay like this, you get one, you get away, it's great. It's just how long until 9Z just sit way back downtown. Bad news bears, though. Should be good for the fifth. Momo saucing the jump. He's calling for a flash. Here it comes. Steps on now. Everybody straight for heavy. Flash, pop, explode. And in. Zola actually gets away with the Deagle headshot through the smoke. Swan also getting one onto DGT. So 9Z have been handed a huge blow right away. And Jake Zola is close to it. Nearly connects onto looking with enough damage to bring him down. Oh, well, they can give this retake a crack, but they have to make sure they don't overcommit the AWP. More damage done for Sheikh Zula. Contact heavy, flash, pop, explode, and in. Sheikh Zula actually gets away with the Deagle headshot through the smoke. Swan also getting one onto DGT, so 9Z have been handed a huge blow right away. And Sheikh Zula is close to it. Nearly connects onto looking with enough damage to bring him down. Oh, well, they can give this retake a crack, but they have to make sure they don't overcommit the AWP. More damage done for Sheikh Zula. One is holding from alongside of the AWP. Sponge actually gets removed from Pit with a good nade setup to force him away from that. And the smoke they should does give Swan here. some get ground, down, but they have boys. to get the plan to get that extra money. And now the wrap up short coming in. David fight for one. Max able to get another, but as you would expect, it is the cleanup for Bad News Bears just having the greater numbers. The hesitancy to plant initially actually cost them so much. It allowed this fast wrap to come in from the short side. If you planted immediately, they could have actually played out that post the damage off his feet. Rocks that one. Will certainly find most of the damage. He's down to 25, but if that first nade landed, he would have been out of the round. Exactly. Would have been a kill right there. So Rock's fortunate. Needs to count his 
Lucky stars. Pluto flashed forward. It's a deep one, and that looked oh, like a okay. pre-fire there from Pluto. Great. Rox is taken out. And a four on five now. Bad news, Bears. Can they get this one back to a 6-6 six, six scoreline? Also, anti flash, so Swan should get one and then Pluto swings. Yeah, this should be good for at least two. Barrel's gonna be spotted soon. Well, Swan's actually gonna go into the fight, takes one, and now Swan's back swinging. It is Rox, gets one, but oh, Pluto at the ruddy, doubles up. Rox and David down in one foul swoop, and Pluto falls from standby, closes okay, with it. It's gonna be fast. Very fast. Swan putting a stop to most of it. Again, Shakes is all the for the site itself. The rifle's good enough, but David is double up in DGT out of nowhere. Collects the headshot onto the site player of Jake Zola. So Pluto and Momo, the duo that play B, having to come back in for the A retake this time. On oh, Cinder, he burns already. There's a smoke in play as oh. well, and that is beautiful stuff there from Momo. All right, burns away the feet of DGT. Now David takes up position. But Rox, not so much. David, if he gets the right peak time in here, because of the amount of time, he gets the information. Oh, oh what? Pluto! His head gone. Pluto now. Well, he's down. It's on Momo to try and close out against Rox, and he's hit the headshot. He's got to find the bomb. He's got to find it. He's got to get to it. It's their time. He's going to hold it. Looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Momo celebrates in anticipation, and nine rounds secure for Bad News Bears. Yeah, Momo is stressed there as he couldn't find the bomb immediately, but uh, it does get on. It does get the defuse. Headshot, Shake Zola on the flank around the back. Defusing. And they, oh, straight to the defuse. They're just going to hold it. There's a kit in the back of Rox, and Max is going to cover him off, but Rox will hit the tank. Sponge able to confirm that kill, and Bad News Bears reached double figures here on in Inferno. Yeah, it got chaotic for a moment there, didn't it? Had to peel him off that bomb before that stick came on through. So a good attempt from 9Z when they were down two man advantage on towards that site but this is where they have to ask themselves do we force or do we save if they buy all in here and lose this one the game will quickly follow and we'll have to be the goalie all into the next round is the only way out for bad news now i might need to employ a north american expert to help me with that so cooper if you're still paying attention mate if you're still watching <laughs> i would love for you to tweet at what the hell just happened uh, why Momo decided to stay committed top banana there, looking for lurk kills while the rest of his team were getting decimated on A. I would love to hear it from a North American. Maybe you guys have some logic Maybe that was there. one of the calls Launders made back in the day, and he's just running it again. Yeah. Well, that's a chance now for 9Z. Another team kill. Being found in the mix, looking able to double up and make up for that, though. No problem. What is Momo doing? We'll get back to that. We should be a play, huh? Don't the smoke it be into the individual fight. There's 13 seconds left. Bombs down on the A site. It would have been nice to have his teammate alongside him here, Spongy. Five seconds left. One for Spongy. Another one. Absolutely could have been winnable in this position. But unfortunately, it will have to be the goalie all into the next round is the only way out for Bad News Bears. Now, I might need to employ a North American expert to help me with that. So, Cooper, if you're still paying attention, mate, if you're still watching, <laughs> I would love for you to tweet at what the hell just happened. Uh, why Momo decided to stay committed top banana there, looking for lurk kills while the rest of his team were getting decimated on A. I would love to hear it from a North American. Maybe you guys have some logic Maybe that was there. one of the calls Launders made back in the day, and he's just running it again. It's DGT holding on strong to the site. Hit seconds. Bomb loose. Needs to get into the site. Just enough time to lock that in. And a shot here for Bad News Bears. The nade goes towards the back of the site. They're both committed inside of the site itself. All the remaining forces coming in from short. Spongy tries his best. And now down to the one versus two. Spongy trying to make it happen. But Max will take him out. And Bad News Bears unable to hold on to the site. 9Z back into the game again. As they will find their eighth round. Yeah, good attempt. Uh, they had the uh, arch in the in this setup before. Oh, we have, and we have seen it work to Greta Bill, and this time it's gonna be the exact same. Max comes through, Swan shot is ridiculous onto us looking. The Warbind at least gets one, but the amount of impact that we've already seen from that aggressive maneuver. It's so hard nice. to clear this one out. They have to somehow get through him with an AWP on the other side of things. It's not the weapon you can really double swing with effectively. And now they're getting absolutely mowed down by oh. Momo. He turns, he'll find it. And Momo closes out for Bad News Bears. That was a really well done post plant situation, right? As soon as Swan gets towards the triple box, that's really good news because he gets to swing around that position. They dealt with him, sure. But the double stack over towards Coffins was fantastic. And uh, looks like we do have a, a bit of a pause that's being called. Three months, guys. No, I don't work for a mouse pad Change retailer. it more than your toothbrush, guys. Come on. We play Counter-Strike more than we brush our teeth. Well, it's bad news for the bad news bears as they're into a timeout. The second called right here, right now.
probably a superstitious chat, I would say, maybe some players. You know, this is the mouse mat. I turned pro once, so I'm gonna keep it forever. Yeah. Do you ever have any superstitions as a player? No. The only thing I did was when I had my good performance at uh the way back into CT, and finally the smoke comes up, but it was a little late, so it allows Max to help his teammates out. Jigsaw and Swan make it a bit dangerous inside of the site itself, but cleaned up in the end by Max, who's just having a brilliant match. He's nearly at 30 kills. He's having a great game, and he's very focused. I just watched him there as he went and got those two kills, didn't stop to celebrate, immediately wanted to grab that AWP for Luke, and to understanding exactly the task at hand here. Just two more rounds now, remember. Well, you don't need to remember. Top of your screen, overpass. with the rifles. So, Lukens be given a lot of space there to play with. And oh, David, up. David I feel sorry for timing. you, buddy. Oh, it's twice now. Well, 3v5, back to B. And there's three players on this site really starting to feel the flow of the game now. They've actually rotated the extra man over. Three rifles on the B-bomb site. Entry flash from Shake, and away they go. Yeah. Momo charging oh, right into rocks, and Maxi Max boy. will help it out. Max is doing so much on the hold. Bad news, Burst. Smoke down to try and delay, but his teammate, he's actually going to go through. Max will swing with it. The lineup. Max is going to come for more, and he goes back. Finally runs out of ammo, but the damage is already done. And it looks like it's bad news for the Bears, unless Swan can pull up a 1v3. Locks in the digits, looking to put forward missed shot. But Swan has to deal with the banana play, and DGT will close. 16-11 victory. 9Z will find map one of this best of three. Beautiful stuff. Love what we got to see out of Max right there. And you can see the intention the entire time. Flashes for the teammates. Down into the site with a Galil, and he is doing a lot of damage. It's a single player left, and Spongy now retreating. He's going to try and get away from that bomb just to carry the AK on over. And it's going to be another round for Bad News Bears. A 3-0 start, but we have been waiting for a significant amount of time to finally get the buyout for 9Z. Yeah, these rounds have been very slow, which is uh, definitely playing it by the book for the Bad News Bears. So good stuff, not taking any risks. But Lucan will get out the AWP now. Swan doing the same on the other side of the server. And the X Factor to deliver you around you least expected. He's not to move forward, though. He's head spotted. Mr. Nade there, Lucan. Yeah. Should save. Definitely should save this. That is a real bad fumble. And I was mentioning if you had the chance to do a bit of a, a strategy out of the back pocket. Well, that was really quick. They, yeah, they, they lob out those nades, which is going to clear anybody from that boost, which makes their ability to push up short a little bit easier. Right? You're not worried about anybody on that boost position. Crazy after the triple nades come through that he sat there and spammed through the boards. That's a bit of a boo-boo right there. At least he gets one, but it's not really enough. And now look at... Oh, he had a chance still. Able to recover for the shot. It is just Pluto left in the clutch. He's found one already. They're both low. This AK can certainly pull off this clutch. He's looking for Lucan. And now he'll find him at the back of the site, but hasn't been able to remove him. Lucan's AWP goes out for the wide swing, and Pluto down. The round picked up, and Lucan very lucky to be alive. Dutch were a big part of that, and a lot of influence in, in Flemish Belgium. All right, well, we'll check back in, because this one here is a four on four. Let's see if they get another kill back. Actually, there's a gap that's been tipped here. Momo's made it into the back line. Momo's made it behind. Momo's found another big kill. Okay, suddenly an opportunity oh, here. Oh, Momo! Momo's having a moment. And now it's just one yeah, player. They're going to run in towards this A bomb site. Willy nearly. And, oh, never mind. Oh, they're just going to consider off. the save. So, time. A cruel mistress here. Bad news bears will concede. And we are tied up again. 7 7 for 9 Z. Yeah, it, it, the mid rounds on overpass and the T side can sometimes be like this, right? You, you think you have a cool play in your head, but you don't really account for how long those rotations and how many positions you have to clear out. So you end up running out of time by the time you're near the site. And I think VP are a team that usually... Uh, about this struggling. DGT seems to one elevated time and time again. Look at this vantage point. Yeah, Sheikh Zola is moving forward into the mix. He goes, DGT pulls the knife and Sheikh Zola will track him for the headshot. It is now becoming very difficult to see a world in which 9Z hold on to this site. Just Max left, clock in hand, and while Heathrow going to show it's more than average, he's taken two and ends up going down. Shigzilla removes him, Defuse is being stuck, and the pistol picked up for Bad News Bears. I wonder if right there... It's more than average. He's taken two and ends up going down. Shigzilla removes him, Defuse is being stuck, and the pistol picked up for Bad News Bears. I wonder if right there Shigzilla heard the uh, boosting up and towards heaven, right? Because he was so prepared for that type of a play where shoe on the other foot. They had no idea that they were going to get cleared late. They had all the control they were looking for. It's curious that once you have heaven and the bomb was planted for heaven that you would keep on pushing. But uh, regardless, that's one to discuss in the demo review with Zach, I do believe. Shots need to be even better. Flash goes over. It is good. It's great, in fact. And Ross will take one. Spongy held back behind the truck, but the kills have come through, and now we're even looking towards the back. Looking at taking the shot, and somehow 9Z win it.
They just fire every direction. They even catch the flank. And 9Z staying competitive. Well, I said the flash had to be great, and it was. It was. It, it enabled was. all the fights onto the side right there. And I think the fact that the dice box player dies and Sponge is still alive, they piece that punk into a shock. He drops the molly. It is going to flush one out. And Nade, well placed up the stairs. Wow. That one, uh, I don't think he intended for it to go that well. Oh, the oh, liner. Looking gets a little lucky. And takes down three through the smoke. He begins to spam. Oh, not too far away, actually, from taking that one through the smoke itself. Pop flash the Mac 10 in. A little bit of money perhaps being set up for that Mac 10. But 10 to 10, Chad. Noted. Got pretty loud in the room next door. Let's see Pluto. Ooh, over. Oh, okay, oh, Pluto. Overlook. They just let. Oh, he just let some slide on Another by. Another TK. Uh, it wasn't even a kill, it was a team kill. Um. Keep I have, the counter going. I haven't seen this many team kills in, in one series before, it's personally. It's been a lot. I think we're up to maybe four. I think maybe even five. Oh, maybe even five. <laughs> but crazy. dealing with it becomes Lukin's task. Ten seconds left. Does not have enough time here. Does not have a lot of time to waste, but somehow he'll go over the top, get the pick, and now commits to the plant. Swan to the side on. Pushes oh! forward into the fight, and Lukin's got it done. The 1v2, three in total for the round, and Lukin pushes... Bombsite. Smoke Heaven oh, Flash, boost. Molly Barrel and go. Oh, the boost gets spotted. DJT ready for that. In the late rounds, the headshot connects. Luckily, Momo has got one, make it two with a smart reposition. It's just figuring out where that A1S is. It's difficult sometimes to track it. Barrel spotted, position noted, but dealing with it becomes Lukin's task. Ten seconds left. Does not have enough time here. Does not have a lot of time to waste, but somehow he'll go over the top, get the pick, and now commits to the plant. Swan to the side on, pushes oh! forward into the fight, and Lukin's got it done. The 1v2, three in total for the round, and Lukin pushes 9Z forward. Massive round to win right there. A sketchy one at the best of times, but lose that early man to the crazy push, the bad news bears and they bring it back together here. The spam shot from Pluto enables the 4v4. The boost from DG. ridiculous. A massive shot for him to hit. They're into the site. Swan steps out, grabs one, but not enough. Frustration stations right now for Bad News Bears. And not is it just a massive round to rip oh, away? Oh, yes. They might just go out completely empty-handed. And they've had some close maps. They I think have, every single uh, one every, of their games has been yeah. double digits as a minimum. It, it's very frustrating. Um, it's extremely frustrating, I'm sure, but... Uh, there'll be a lot to learn from, uh, at least as a takeaway. And if, like you said, they stick around here in Europe, they might get some real solid practice to try and elevate some of their performances in the future. Could be interesting as well. We do uh, obviously have a, a fourth team joining the Asian. The long player at all, and Max, who's got the first kill of play, follows up again. But Pluto and Sheikh Zola battling back, but it's the post plants that are still strong here for 9Z. The time is ticking. Smoke onto the bomb. No one's sticking it yet, though. No one's even on it. Now they go and consider this one. Look, it's spraying down. A little more to the left, and he gets it done. Now just shakes Zola. The time's ticking too far. God, he's run out of ammo. And even with the advantage, Nine's able to close it out. 14 to 10. They are two away from knocking out the bad news bears. Insane. Luca with some massive Now impact. just shakes Zola. The time's ticking too far. God, he's run out of ammo. And even with the advantage, Nine's able to close it out. 14 to 10. They are two away from knocking out the bad news Bears. Insane. Lucan with some massive impact in two. Wow. One was a clutch round. The other here having to be just the spray through smoke. It was desperate. It was necessary. But you could just see with all the utility executing onto that site. Frustrations there. You can see on the face of Pluto. Not understanding how much more he had to do. The timing on the flash was a bit of a problem. But this is massive here from Luke. Oh, a chance there for DGT. Never fills you with confidence seeing a team limp into this round with what they've brought to the table. He have fallen foul to purchase his flight. It's a full B stack though, look at this. Mm. Just a, a gamble here for Bad News Bears. Could work. You have to respect it. There are information gatherers on the other side of things though. So two players. I love this position from Momo. He got close to the smoke towards Divider. Marie smoke is going to go through. It's going to buy some extra time, slowing it down again. This is where 9Z started to crumble last round. They have three here on A. They should be able to defend this. Shake is so removed, however. They have to trade. Oh what? my god, again, oh. the wall bang. DGT cracks open Momo's skull. 
And now Swan towards the back of the dice box. 19 seconds left. They're being methodical about this. They're forcing so many players up here for 9Z. They have to plant. They're planting open the bike. He has to commit to it now. Oh! The bomb's down. They need they to get it down. He's hit the shot. They have to plant, but there's no time. Oh, he's did it.